Hi, how you doing? Welcome back. Doing some carp fishing today. And as with all good carp fishing trips, got to start with making some bait. Sweet pea pellets, old fashioned oats, about 21 ounces of oats I believe in there. And because the flavor doesn't really matter very much, I'm going to go ahead and cover my eyes with this hand and blindly pick something out of my bait bag here. What do we got? Ooh, cherry pie filling. Let's do it. And this is old. This was in the, I just moved. And this was like way in the back of the pantry. Best by August of 2017. <laughs> Alright, cherry pie filling going in. It's thick. And I'm going to add a little bit more flavor. I'm going to do some vanilla. I think vanilla sounds good with cherry. Vanilla ice cream goes good with cherry pie. Eh. That off of there. there we go. We'll shoot a bunch of vanilla in there. And that's going to be it for the pack bait today. Give that a good mix. Alright, cherry vanilla oats. Give that about 10 15 minutes to, to set up. Be ready to start fishing. And right now, the temps is like in the mid 40s the air temps and I think the water is about the same I just washed my hands a minute ago and uh, it's real cold mid 40s maybe even low 40s uh, for the water temp today but the sun's supposed to come out uh, here pretty soon it's actually starting to come out a little bit so that'll warm things up a little bit high of 52 today uh, it's November 3rd so we're in November this might be a futile attempt at uh, carp fishing it, they might be uh, just pretty inactive with how cold it is but I'm giving it a try we'll see what happens thanks for watching and in September I uh, replenished my supply of hook baits I made several uh, jars of these of, of this is uh, tiger nuts but I made feed corn and tiger nuts different jars and flavors and didn't hardly fish at all the whole month of October so I got a ton of bait in the fridge which is good it's, I might use it over the winter Today's uh, hook bait is going to be spicy tiger nuts. I prepared these myself. They've just been soaking in uh, uh, some diluted uh, sriracha sauce. And they've been soaking in there for, I don't know, probably about six weeks, I suppose. And I'm just going to put those on a hair rig. like that and for bait stops on my hair rigs I just used little uh, little pieces of twig I just pre-cut these uh, in advance and uh, they work good I know the plastic bait stops work fine too but I just like this I don't like leaving little bits of plastic in the water if I can help it here it is the cherry vanilla oats and the spicy tiger nut going out Well, the warmest parts of the day have come and gone, and uh, it's been all quiet. No bites, no indications of any fish at all. And uh, strangely enough, you know, last uh, year in November, uh, I had one of the best uh, fishing days of the entire season in November last year. Uh, I'll put a, a, a link to that up on the screen here somewhere if you want to check it out. Uh, that, that, was, that was a great day, but that was because we had some unusually warm uh, temperatures. That's not the case this year. As far as the state of the carp bite goes here in western Iowa, I'm calling it done for 2021 unless we get some warm weather that comes in. But got a little bit before the ice comes in. I'm going to focus my efforts on uh, some other species that are a little more uh, cold water friendly, like the catfish and the pike. So we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.